With this background on what we're trying to do in teaching reading, we can start to look at some of the technologies that are useful in helping the process of teaching reading. There are many searching methods for seeking texts and social media sites of interest to students. These can provide them with materials that are well suited to their level and interest. Students can be taught to engage in audio, blogging, or chat to begin topics, activities to build knowledge and interest in a topic before reading. Sites with good reading about the world, topics that are very interesting, and American English simplified texts are also good options. There are also websites for assessing the readability or the simplicity of texts. Reading groups can be formed based on common interests within the class, within language learner sites, or within fan fiction sites. Students can engage in journaling discussion about reading on blogs and forums. Let's take a closer look at how we can connect reading and writing through the use of fan fiction. To do so, we'll return to our fan fiction expert, Shannon Sorrell. Hello, this is Shannon Sorrow. In this segment, I talk once again about fan practices, specifically fan fiction and fan fiction tasks that have been brought into the advanced English language classroom. Although the examples I'll discuss here are taken from university students in Sweden, similar tasks have been designed and adapted for younger students with lower English proficiency in middle and high school classrooms. First, a quick reminder about fan fiction, defined here as writing that continues, interrupts, reimagines, or just riffs on stories and characters other people have already written about. As this definition indicates, there are many different genres and types of fan fiction depending on the interest of the writer and the source material. One popular genre among younger writers is fan fiction where the author inserts themselves as a character in their favorite story. In other cases, writers might rewrite endings to a story, rewrite an entire story from the perspective of a different character, or place the characters from one story in an alternate universe. One currently popular type of alternate universe fan fiction is where fans write about their favorite characters working at a coffee shop in their hometown. Fan fiction can be of any length. For instance, one type of fan fiction, drabbles, are short stories that are no more than 100 words long. There are of course many short stories and also plenty of novel length fan fiction stories that are several hundred thousand words long. In this presentation, I'll be talking about fan fiction based on two different sets of stories. The first is based on The Hobbit, a fantasy novel written by British author J.R.R. R. Tolkien set in a world called Middle-earth inhabited by dwarves, elves, humans, wizards, dragons, and hobbits. The next set of texts are the Sherlock Holmes mysteries. Sherlock Holmes is a London-based famous fictional private detective who was created by British writer Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and appeared in detective novels and short stories between 1887 and 1927. The context where these fan fiction tasks take place is a course on teaching literature required for students specializing in teaching English at the secondary school level in Sweden. Students are in either their first or third term of study of a five-year undergraduate program. The two fan fiction projects described here were designed to serve as a possible model of tasks that these future teachers could use with their own students. <laughs> 